Hello everyone, Rochelle here and today I'm going to be sharing with you all how to crochet a slouchy hat. And in this tutorial, here are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need some worsted weight yarn. I am using some Red Heart Super Saver yarn that I had. And you're going to need at least 4 ounces or 100 grams of yarn. You will also need a pair of scissors, of course, and you will need a tapestry needle or tapestry needle, however you like to pronounce it. And you will also need an H size hook, which is a five millimeter hook. And you will also need a G hook, which is a four millimeter hook. The stitches you will need to know are the magic loop, that's what we're going to start with. Also the slip stitch, the half double crochet, and the double crochet. And there's a lot of great tutorials on YouTube that will show you all how to make those stitches, but I'll try to show you along the way as well. So we are, I'm going to be working from a scrap ball of yarn I have. So. Okay, so let's get started with using our H hook. We're going to start with that one first. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a magic loop. And for the magic loop, we're going to take our finger, we're going to wrap it around our finger two times, and we're going to insert our hook underneath the first loop and over the second loop. We're going to pull that second loop up underneath the first loop and draw up a loop like so and then we're going to chain three so one two three and then we are going to add 11 double crochets to the inside of the ring and remember that in each round the chain three counts as the first double crochet so essentially we're going to put 12 double crochets in the ring. So let's get started. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and noticing how I'm putting it inside the ring. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, and what you're going to do next is you're going to close the magic loop. So you're going to pull the string. Not too tight just yet. And at this point we are going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three space, which is right here. One, two, three, chain three space. And then we're going to slip stitch and pull that stitch just like so and slip stitch. So at this point we have 12 double crochets. Now at this point you can take that magic loop string and pull it. And you see, you see now that the hole is, is gone. And we'll tie that at the end just to secure it. Okay, now for round two we are going to chain three and remember this counts as your first double crochet and then we are going to double crochet in that same stitch so we're going to crochet in the same stitch and we are going to put two double crochets in each stitch around 
So with that next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets in that stitch. And we're going to continue to do that. Put two double crochets in that same stitch. And I will meet you back around at the beginning of the row. So right now I have worked, I've almost finished this row. I have one stitch left. So I'm gonna put two double crochets into that stitch. So that gives us a total of 24 double crochets. And you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three space. So you should now have 24 double crochets. And if it starts to curl, that's perfectly normal. Okay, so moving on to round three. We're gonna chain three and we are going to double crochet in the same stitch. And next we are going to double crochet in the next two stitches. So that means we're gonna put one double crochet in the next two stitches. So one double crochet and one double crochet in the stitch after that. So just to show you all again, in that next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets in that stitch. And then in the next two double crochet stitches, in the next two stitches, you're going to just put one double crochet. And again, in that next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. And then in the next stitch, you're going to put one double crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're going to put one double crochet. And in the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets in that same stitch. And then in the next two double crochets, you're going to just put one double crochet in each one. And I'll show you all one more time. So in the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. And in the next two stitches, you're just going to put one double crochet. Okay, and I'm going to pause here and meet you all back around at the beginning. Okay, I'm almost back around at the beginning. I have two stitches left, so I'm just going to put one double crochet in each stitch. And I'm going to join to the top of the chain three space. And you should now have a total of 30 two stitches. Let's count to make sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 32. We are on track. Okay, so now we're going to be moving to round four. You're going to start off with a chain three. And you are going to put two double crochets in the next stitch. So we're going to put two double crochets in this stitch right here. One and two. And then we're going to put one double crochet in the next three stitches. So we're going to do one, two, three, and then in the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets in that same stitch. 
and then in the next three stitches we're going to put one double crochet one two three and then in the next stitch we're going to put two double crochets and I'll show you all this one more time so in the next three stitches you're going to put one double crochet and then in that next stitch you're going to put two double crochets and I will meet you all back around at the beginning of the row now I'm almost back to the beginning of the row and you'll see that I have three stitches left one two three so I'm going to put two double crochets and then I have two stitches left and I'm going to put one double crochet in each stitch and then I'm going to join to the top of that chain three space and when you look at the pattern that lines us up because it continues with that three double crochet then two double crochet three double crochet then two double crochet so at the end of this row you should have 40 stitches total okay let's move on to round five you're going to chain three and you are going to put two double crochets in the next stitch And then you are going to put one double crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. And I'll show you all this one more time. So in the next four stitches, we're going to put one double crochet in each stitch. So one, two, three, four. And then in that next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. And you're going to continue with this all the way around. And I will meet you all at the beginning of the row. Okay, so I'm almost back to the beginning of the row and I have three stitches left. So I'm going to um, put one double crochet in each stitch. One, two, three. Join to the top of the chain three space. So you should now have a total of 48 stitches. Okay, now let's go to row six. You are going to chain three. One, two, three and you are going to put two double crochets in the next stitch and then you're going to put one double crochet in the next five stitches so one two three four five and then in the next stitch you're going to put two double crochets one and two and I'll show you all this one more time so in the next five double crochets you're going to put one double crochet in each stitch so one two 
three, four, five, and then in the next stitch you're going to put two double crochets in that next stitch. Okay, and I will meet you all back at the beginning of the row. Okay, so I'm almost back to the beginning and I have one, two, three, four stitches left and I'm going to put one double crochet in each one of those. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three space. At the end of this row, you should have 56 stitches. Okay, now for round seven. You're going to chain three. And you are going to put two double crochets in the next stitch. And you are going to put one double crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then in the next stitch you're going to put two double crochets one and two and then I'm going to show you all one more time so you're going to put one double crochet in the next six stitches so one two three, four, five, six. And then in the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. One and two. Okay, and I will meet you all at the beginning of the row. Okay, I'm almost back to the beginning of that round. And I have one, two, three, four, five stitches left. And I'm going to put one double crochet in each of those stitches. Three, four, and five. And I'm going to join at the top of that chain three space. One, two, three. Okay, at the end of this round, you should have 64 stitches. Starting to form. We are now going to start on round number eight, and we're going to do that by starting with the chain three, chain three, and then we are going to do two double crochets in the next stitch. And then we are going to double crochet in the next seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to put two double crochets in the next stitch. And I'll show you all this again. In the next seven stitches, you're going to put one double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and then in the next stitch you're going to put two double crochets. And I will meet you all when I get back around to the beginning of the row. Okay, almost done with this row and I have six stitches left and I'm just going to put one double crochet in each of those stitches. So that's three, four, five, six, and then we're going to join to the top of the chain three space. So at the end of this round, you should have 72 stitches. Okay, so let's go to round number nine. With round number nine, we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And we are simply going to put one double crochet in each stitch around. So I'll demonstrate a few of these for you. You see we're just putting one double crochet in each stitch around. That's it. And we are going to continue to do this all the way around. Each stitch will only have one double crochet in it. And I will meet you all back at the beginning of the row. I'll meet you all back right here. Okay, now I am back around to the beginning of the uh, row nine and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three space. At the end of this round, you should still have 72 stitches. And you can tell it, you can see that it's really starting to form a shape of a hat. Now for row 10, you are going to just simply repeat row nine. You're going to chain three and you are going to simply double crochet, put one double crochet in each stitch around. And you're going to do this all the way until you get back to the, um, to the beginning of the round, which is where I will meet you. Okay, so I have just completed row 10 and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three to join. Okay, now for rows 11 through 20, you're just gonna simply repeat row nine. You're going to chain three and you're gonna put one double crochet in each stitch. And you are going to do this for rounds 11 through 20. And I will join you all again when I get to round 20. And also keep in mind that this is where, you know, if you want your hat to be smaller, you could do less than 20 or perhaps if you wanted to have a little bit more slouch then you could add more than 20 but for today's video I'm only going to um, go to 20 and then I'm going to start decreasing so I will meet you all back when I get to round 20 Okay, now I'm at the end of round 20 and I have one stitch left. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. And now I'm going to join to the top of the chain three space. 
and you should have a total of 20 rows and 72 stitches all the way around. Okay, so now we are ready to go to the decreasing where we're going to switch to a G hook. So now let's let go of our H and we're going to pick up our G which is a four millimeter hook size. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to half double crochet in the back loop only. So we're going to half double crochet and we're going to do that in the back loop only. Okay, so we're going to half double crochet, so we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the back loop only. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through three loops. I'll show you all that one more time. We're going to put a half double crochet in the back loops only, so we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the back loop, bring up a loop. We now have three loops on our chain. We have we now have three loops on our hook and we are going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And you are going to continue to do a half double crochet in the back loop of the back loop only and you're going to do this all the way around. And I'll do a few more with you. And just make sure you're only going on that back loop. And you're going to notice with the back loop only is that this ridge is going to start to form, which gives it a new texture. But just continue to do a half double crochet in the back loop only. And you're going to do this all the way around until you get back to the beginning which is here. So I'm going to continue with the half double crochet in the back loop only and I will meet you all when we get back to the beginning. Now I have come to the end of round 21 and what you can do to help you out is right there at the beginning of row 21 if you want to just put a stitch marker there that'll help you to remember um, where your row 21 ended but what we're going to continue to do move that what we're going to do is we're just going to continue with that half double crochet in the back loops only. So if we could just work around that stitch marker. We're going to put a half double crochet in that stitch and we're just going to keep going. Half double crochet in the back loop only. And you're just going to keep doing that. And this is row 22. And we're just going to keep doing that in the back loop only. Okay. All right, so you see row 22 is forming. And I will meet you all back around at the stitch marker where we will begin the next row. So I'm just going to finish row 22 and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, now I have reached the end of row 22 and we are just going to keep on going. So we're back at our stitch marker and we're just going to continue with the half double crochet in the back loop only. And this is row 23 and this is also going to be our last row. Now if you want to make it longer, you can keep going or shorter. You could have, you know, 
stop um, at one of the earlier rows if you want to make it a shorter decrease but for today's video we're going to go to row 23 which is this row and you're just going to continue half double crochet in the back loop only and we're just going to continue to do this until we get back around and I will meet you all back at the beginning where the stitch marker is. Okay, now I'm at the end of row 23, which is our last row. So what I'm going to do to finish off this row and complete the hat is I'm going to do a slip stitch into that next stitch. So I'm just gonna insert my hook through both loops, pull up a loop and just join it together. So that's our slip stitch. That's the end of the hat. And now I'm going to cut it off. And I'm gonna leave about a four inch tail on it. Just gonna cut it here. And I'm going to pull my crochet hook out. And at this point, you can just finish it off. And the way I usually, I have kind of a, a funny way of finishing um, my, my ends off. I want to kind of make it look like um, another stitch. So what I do is, is I take my needle and I go into that next stitch. I put my needle in the back loop like so, bring it around, and then I put my, um, my needle into the loop that was before it. So what that does is, is finish it off. So let me show you all that one more time. Just take this apart. Okay, so what I do, and what I do is, is I put my needle into the back loop of the stitch after it. Then I bring it back around, and I put my needle into the back loop of the stitch before it, and it creates that type of a finish. And of course, you can finish it all however you like. If you just wanna do a simple slip stitch and then put a knot at the end, that is totally up to you. But that's just how I like to finish off my hats. And then of course, you just put a knot, finish it off, and then you weave in this end here. Let me go ahead and take my stitch marker out. And I'm going to go ahead and weave in my ends. Just weave that through there. Just weave it back through one more time. Like so. Okay. Then I'm going to cut that off. And then let's not forget about our magic loop. So I'm going to turn the hat inside out and I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull the loop close, close or close rather. And then I'm going to thread my needle and just put a knot in it. You can do one or two knots. I usually do two. And then just simply weave that in. And 
and then you cut that off and now your hat is complete So here is the, the finished hat.